Hey everyone, I'm here with my mini me. This is Kai, he's my nine year old, my youngest. And we're gonna show you how to do wet socks. This treatment is amazing. If you're starting to get sick, if you're already sick, this is going to shorten the length. It's gonna nip it right in the bud. It's such an awesome therapy, nice home therapy, and so easy that a nine year old can do it. So bear with us with some camera action. Hopefully we won't give you any, any kind of uh, sickness from movement. <laughs> All right, go for it, Kai. Okay. So you need two pairs of socks here. You need a pair of cotton socks, and then you need a pair of wool socks. If you don't have a pair of wool socks, because you live in Arizona and maybe you don't need them, use two pairs of cotton socks over. All right, so you take your pair of cotton socks, you run it under tap water, get them nice and wet, Usually we recommend them being cold water, but it's totally fine to do it under lukewarm or room temperature water. Sometimes kiddos especially don't like those cold socks going on them and it's harder to do the treatment. Now we're just going to wring them out really well and make sure all the water is wrung out on them. Okay. Nice job. How about the other one? Damp. It should be damp. Mm. Not sopping wet though. Perfect. He's going to make sure they're wrung out to perfection. All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, have a seat, sir. Next, you just have to put the pair of wet socks on. It's time for some new socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it looks like these socks are going to fit me perfectly. And a pair. Oh my god, I put it right there. The same. Oh my god. Get it. Okay. It's wrong now. Okay. And then you put your one pair of wool socks over or your two pairs of cotton socks. And that's it, that's as easy as it gets. So you want, again, two pairs of socks. One is going to be cotton, those are gonna be your wet socks. You're gonna have another pair that's gonna be wool or two pairs of cotton socks that are gonna be your dry socks. You wet the first pair, the cotton pair. Again, that can be cold to room temperature water. You wring them out really well, you put them on your feet right before you go to bed. If you're a cold person, you might wanna warm up your feet ahead of time. You can put them in a warm bath or a warm foot bath, something like that, and then put your cold socks on, your wet socks. Then you wanna put on your dry socks and leave them on all night long. I know this sounds like a super weird therapy. I was very, very skeptical of it until I understood the physiology of it. So I'm gonna explain that next. So this therapy is often called wet socks or magic socks because they really are magic. And the concept is, think of when you put, dip your foot in a cold pool. Um, the first thing that's gonna happen is your body senses cold, it's a threat, it's gonna dilate the blood vessels, it's going to start pumping the blood so that you can warm up that area, right? And this is gonna happen all night long. So what's gonna happen is your blood vessels are gonna be pumping while you're asleep. The super important part, if you didn't know this already, is that your immune system is highest when you're sleeping. That's why you always feel terrible at night, it's why you feel worse in the morning. Your immune system, not just because you're laying on your back, but your immune system is working its hardest. That's your rest, digest, and repair time. And so this is when we want to really circulate those immune cells. By getting the blood vessels to pump, it's similar to having a workout while you're asleep. So that's how your lymphatics, which are the super highways that transfer your immune cells all over your body, are going to move a little bit better. Blood will exchange, actually, um, 
your lymphatics are right next to your blood vessels and fluid will exchange between the two. Now, during the day when you're walking, you're actually pushing blood, when you're exercising, you're moving that, you're moving your lymphatics. At night while you're sleeping, these wet socks are gonna help your lymphatics move all around, move those immune cells all around your body, be more efficient when they are highest at their best prime time. So I know it sounds like a weird, weird therapy. The socks will be dry by the morning. If you ever have an instance, if you live in a cold place where your socks aren't dry by morning, make sure you warm up your feet um, in a warm bath in the morning. But I would say 99.9% .9 of the time your socks will be dry by morning and you will feel significantly better. I swear it's a weird therapy. You will thank me. All right, Kai, what do you think? You gonna sleep with your socks on? Yeah. Okay. I love it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone.